The most overprinted Pokemon product of all time has now become a relic from the past. That's right, the Charizard Ultra Premium Collection. Now, before I rip open this UPC, I'd love to pay it forward by gifting these three incredible singles to three lucky subscribers. The three singles that are finding a new home are, well, in the third spot, we have the Pikachu Paldea Chest promo. This is such an incredible card and it deserves a new home. Then in the second spot, we have the Australian exclusive Umbreon EB game stamped promo. If you don't live in Australia, this is quite a rare card to acquire. And in the first spot, we have the Rodom V alternate art from Lost Origin. I'm pretty sure this is under 1% chance to pull this beautiful card. Now, these gifts are all available worldwide and in order to be selected, all you need to do is number one, like this video, number two, subscribe to the channel along with clicking the bell notification, and number three, let me know what your favorite starter Pokemon is and where you see yourself being in the next five years. Now, in order to know which single you actually won, just be on the lookout for these three specific lucky emojis. If I reply to your comment with Bulbasaur, well, then you've won the Pikachu. If I reply with the new latest Umbreon emoji, then you've won the Australian EB Games exclusive Umbreon. And if you receive the Squirtle eating a mango emoji, then well done, you've got the Rodom V alternate art coming your way. Regarding the previous giveaway, which was on a separate video, I'm pleased to say that the lucky emoji has been awarded. Now all these custom built emojis are actually available to use yourself with channel memberships. Now I know you may be wondering, wait, what's the point of subscribing to channel memberships, right? Though you see, as smaller creators, we are always pushing a boulder uphill. We need to do a lot more to stand out and also a lot of us need to juggle full-time work in order to create content. Though I'm really grateful to say that the channel membership community we have is growing with an amazing supportive network of people. I have very open discussions with my members, right? And I ask for direct feedback to help improve my content. It's a very personal experience and I really take on board what members say as I know they have the channel's best interest in mind. As a cool bonus, I also share the books I am reading for personal development and you also get an insight to the creative process that's involved behind the videos. The link to join can be found in the description of this video. Now, moving on to the Charizard Ultra Premium Collection. The Charizard UPC is something that feels like it was conceptualized by a Pokemon fan, right? It's actually almost unbelievable that a Charizard collection was released, though with how many Charizard fans are actually out there, it kind of seems like a no-brainer from Pokemon's side. What's really interesting about this set is that when it was released, Pokemon really learned from their previous mistake with the underprinting of the Celebrations UPC. So, what did Pokemon do? They printed this thing straight up into the Shadow Realm, man. Like literally, to the Shadow Realm and back. And it was so easily available, and it was selling for like more than half price all of last year. Though now it seems that it is changing and it seems to be a pretty hot investment. And most notably, it does hold three Evolving Skies packs inside. Though the real cool thing about the Charizard UPC is that it's almost like a Sword and Shield All-Stars set, right? Now, for speaking about what I'd actually like personally to pull, it's pretty difficult to say because there's so many different packs, though I would honestly love any VMAX alt art. Now, obviously that's a huge win, so in second spot, I'd love any V alternate art card. And in the third spot, I'd honestly be happy with a rainbow rare or a gold rare card. That's all we're hoping for today. Let's see how we go. You know, when this came out, a lot of people were massive fans of this, man, and for good reason. Like, it's an incredible box, right? It's huge, it's bulky. It kind of makes it look like a pretty premium collection box. That's the thing with these, man. You just, you never know what you're gonna pull. And the fact that it does have 16 alternate arts is pretty huge, right? Okay, so once we open the UPC, you can see it comes with this and you can kind of pull that out which, and this is the kind of Charizard Ultra Premium Collection mat. Uh, it's like a playing mat. It's pretty cool. You get the Gigantamax Charizard. I'm not gonna actually open that up here. I'm gonna just put an image of what that looks like up here. It's a pretty cool mat. Now, within the UPC, as you can see, we do have three elements and these kind of pull out. So of course here you have the first box and of course you have the incredible Charizard, you know, the promo cards with inside here, which I will be opening within just a second. One thing about these guys are they are very, very hard to grade. For some reason, they just always flop when you try grade these. They're just a very difficult grade. But of course, I will be opening those in a second. And of course, you can see here as well, we have the booster boxes, which we have is Lost Origin, two Lost Origins, two Astral Radiances, oh sorry, three, 
brilliant stars and of course there's three of those so that is pretty cool there then of course in the second box we have our booster packs as well you also get a pretty cool little counter or some sort of gold pin thing of a gold coin of a Charizard. You know, it is a very much of a collector's box, right? So here are the next round of booster packs. We have Fusion Strike. We got three of those. We have obviously the three golden boys, the Evolving Skies packs. This is where we obviously want to hit. I haven't opened Evolving Skies in such a long time. I'm pretty excited for that. You've got two Vivid Voltages. And of course you have a darkness ablaze. Now I do think that there's something interesting about these UPCs. Sometimes they come with 17 packs and I have a feeling that we got one of those boxes that have 17 packs. So we got the three evolving skies, three, three of fusion strike, that's six, seven, eight, nine, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17. So we did get an extra vivid voltage pack with this box opening, which is pretty cool. And of course you have here, which is now in this final box, you get, you know, you kind of V-star, you get your little counters or what have you. They're pretty cool as well. You can see them there. And of course you get the amazing sleeves that are included in the ultra premium collection. Look, man, just opening this right now, I think this is gonna be a pretty cool collectors kind of thing. Oh, and sorry, we do have one more thing, which is your kind of a bit of a playbook of a sorts where it has everything about Sword and Shield retro perspective. So this is very much, I'm just looking at this guys, it goes through Rebel Clash, it goes through Darkness Ablaze, it goes through, you know, Champion's Path, pretty much everything. There's Evolving Skies, the most iconic set of Sword and Shield. It does feel like a very much like, hey, this is Sword and Shield. This is our favorite part of Sword and Shield. This is what we love about Sword and Shield. It, it feels just like a celebration of Sword and Shield, pretty much. Ironically, there was a celebration set, which wasn't about Sword and Shield. But now here we have the Charizard UPC promos, and these are kind of your kind of guaranteed cards. Just gonna open these, I'm gonna be very careful. Like I said, man, when you send these to get graded, super difficult to come back with a good grade, man. So there we go, we have the first promo. So cool, man. I don't think this will score well. The centering's pretty bad, and also looks like it has a bit of damage just here, or some sort of whitening. You know, funnily enough, raw, they're pretty easy to get. Though getting these in a good grade is quite difficult. Though I have to admit, this is one of my favorite promos of the set. Then in the second spot, we have the Charizard VMAX. And again, these grade very, very hard to grade. And finally, you have Charizard V-Star, which is actually the reverse point of the Mewtwo from Crown Zenith, which we didn't know at the point, but this is a reverse view of Mewtwo from Crown Zenith. So that's a really cool little nudge to the Sword and Shield era and kind of uh, Crown Zenith was that finale kind of of Sword and Shield. So you can see the three promos. They look pretty cool, man. Like, I, like, oh, I don't think anyone's going to be really complaining with these. They are sensational. And I do think ironically that these will become valuable in the future, given the fact that they are Charizard cards and the fact that you did have to spend like, what was it? I spent like whatever it was 200 Australian on the box especially when they released because they were hard to get on release and then Pokemon kind of you know reprinted them pretty much to demand and of course we have our booster pack so I think the first ones and the last ones that we're going to do in the video are obviously the three evolving skies packs and you know I know there's actually a lot of new collectors on this channel I found out there's a lot of new people that joined in if you don't know which I highly doubt a lot of you would know but if you don't know this kind of set put Pokemon back on the map and it's because it's got such incredible evolutions and it's got that famous Umbreon VMAX in there so these are like your most famous kind of packs within Sword and Shield. You've also got Lost Origin. Now, I think Lost Origin will also be one of the first ones we do, actually. I'll put Lost Origin there. I'm going to leave Fusion Strike for last. I'll also, I'll start off with, you know, Astral Radiance as well. I think Vivid Voltage can kind of come first. And along Darkness Ablaze, that's kind of your very basic set. Not many people like Darkness Ablaze. I think it wasn't that loved, you know. Um, so we'll leave that there. We'll also do our Lost Origin first and we'll start with Brilliant Stars. All right, so the first set that we're gonna do is our Darkness Ablaze. Now this is very much a Sword and Shield All-Star set. It's different to Scarlet and Violet openings, but nonetheless, let's get right into this set. All right, now I do, there you, you have the code card. Now I do remember it's one, two, three, four for Sword and Shield. All right, let's see how we go. Have we got anything from the only Darkness Ablaze pack that we have. And Mark, not much there. So Darkness Ablaze started us off pretty quietly. Go on to Vivid Voltage. Now, what are your thoughts on Vivid Voltage? I know this one does contain the Rainbow Pikachu. So that is the code card for you all. And let's go one, two, three, four. The Rainbow Pikachu is the iconic card in this set. So let's see what we got. 
Can we hit the rainbow Pikachu in this set? That would be fantastic and nothing there, Duraludon. And this is our lucky kind of extra pack, which we never know what we're gonna get. I do like how Vivid Voltage looks though. I have to admit that their packaging was pretty cool. Every time I do see some loose Vivid Voltage in store, it always brings up cool memories. All right, here we go with the code card. And let's do our four from the back. All righty, here we go. What have we got? Anything. Here we go. Oh, Eevee, Zekrom, and... Oh, Galarian Darmantian V. Not a bad pull whatsoever. Come on, we have to be happy with that. You know, with Vivid Voltage, there's not much to hit other than the kind of rainbow Pikachu. So this is a pretty cool card. Should we do Lost Origin next or Astral Radiance? I think, nah, Lost Origin next. Yeah, Lost Origin next. Let's go Lost Origin. All right, now this is the, I believe Lost Origin was the final set that released in terms of when the UPC came out. So it was very much, obviously you had Silver Tempest after that. There's the code card. One, two, three, four. I mixed the code card in there. So we'll, we'll have a bit of a code card, there you go. All right, well, let's see what we got. Lickitung, Horsey, and Mimkyu and Landorus. Nothing there. Mimkyu Reverse Holo. We'll go again with our Lost Origin. Have we got the Giratina V? Opening Giratina V live, you know, after now would be incredible. So let's see what we're working with. There is the code card and let's get into it. All right. Ooh, have we got anything? Oh, Polywell Reverse. Oh, here we go. I stuffed up that pack trick. Truth be told, I actually forgot that Lost Origin was actually even in this set, to be honest. I thought it was before its time, to tell you the truth. So I, I thought that Silver Tempest and Lost Origin came after. So there you go, I got that wrong. But here we go with Astral Radiance, and we're really hoping, for my sake anyway, I am really hoping for an alternate art in these packs. Of course, you just never know how these are gonna go, though. That is the kind of thing. One, two, three, four. All right, Whew. here we go. What have we got? Any, here we go. Petal, Radiant Heatran, and Leafeon. Nothing too special there. Did like Astral Radiance. Astral Radiance was a weird one because it just kind of decided out of nowhere, hey, I'm gonna be a valuable set. No one kind of predicted that Astral Radiance would climb the way it did, but of course it did. So here we go with our code card. And there it is, and our pack trick. One, two, three, four. Alrighty, here we go. Let's see what we got. Anything with these. Scyther, Stantler, and Hisuian Arcanine. Nothing there either. Final Astral Radiance pack. Ooh, love this man. The Typhlosion looks so cool. Yeah, man, classic, classic, classic. You know, Sword and Shield, geez, it brings memories. I mean, the, you obviously with opening the premium collection, I knew what I was doing with that. I knew that it wasn't the best decision, though I really wanted to open it on the channel because I thought it was a cool set. Oh, there we go. One, two, three, four, did that stuff. Oh, there's our, there we go. Got the pack trick wrong, as you guys can see. Need to learn the skills. Have we got anything and a sneak? Not bad, not bad whatsoever. Moving forward with our brilliant stars pack. Three brilliant stars, let's go into it. What are we hoping for with these? In the Charizard V's kind of your, but if this was stacked with another Charizard card, I mean, you've already got the three. I don't know if we would want any more Charizards, to be honest, because I've already got the three promos. But hey, there's the code card. We'll take anything at this point. One, two, three. Now, I'm gonna do this, because I think that that's what stuffed me up last time. All right, let's see how that works. Clang, Torkoal. Corfish, Magma, Spiritomb, Burmy. Oh, and nothing. Now they. All right, here we go. Man, Astral Radiance people love that set, hey. All right, there's the code card for you all. One, two, three, four. And there's our energy. Have we got some luck here? Baltoy, Snow Run, Nose Pass. Here we go, and final. Oh, no way! Rainbow, yeah boy, Whimsicott V-Star. That is cool, man. Awesome, I love Whimsicott. Again, another good card in, uh, sorry, another good Pokemon in competitive play in the games. That is cool, Rainbow Rare card. My daughter will be so happy with that. My daughter loves the Rainbow Rare card. You know, I, I can't wait to show her that. You know, I'm kind of shattered. We got those new Rainbow Border cards that are coming out now in Scarlet and Violet, which is kind of cool, but I do remember having those classic 
rainbow cards. I just, I think they added a cool experience to the set. I know a lot of people didn't like rainbows, but you know, when you have a kid and you see how excited they get over rainbow cards, it does make me like them a lot, you know? I am a bit of a fan of them. All right, let's see how we go. That is cool. I'm happy with that. No complaints there. That's gonna make my daughter's day when she finishes school. And no, nothing there. Alrighty, here we go. Fusion Strike. This can now contain, Fusion Strike is stacked, dude. Stacked with sets, bro. This can have some serious fire in it, if we allow it to. Well, if Pokemon allows it to, not really me. I don't, I don't have much choice. I'm the guy pulling the pack. So let's see what we got. Fusion Strike. Oh, oh, there we go, Gumi. All right, here we go. Can we hit a V? Doesn't feel heavy. Latios and Grimmsnarl. Nothing too fancy. Beautiful Genesect Fusion Strike pack. All right. Now, I am a fan of Fusion Strike, man. I have to admit, I do like it. Jeez, that's a bit of an awkward box opening, that one, for me. Wasn't too, oh, code card, here we go. Let's see what we got. One, two, three, four. Here we go, all right. Have we got some gold here? All righty, here we go, get in there. And nothing. We got our rainbow rare card, so we can't be complaining with that. But of course, we are not hitting anything of substantial value. Here we go, one, two, three, four. Energy, this is our final fusion strike pack. Come on, we want Mew, that's what we want. Mew is our one, we got some more, here we go, 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 oh, Genesect V. No, I thought that was an ult art, I got more excited than I should have actually. I thought we were dealing with an alt art, but no, we got the Genesect, but no, cool man, cool, cool, cool. All right guys, here we go, the big three. Umbreon, this Umbreon, poor, oh, geez, these packs, I'm telling you man, in a few years, they're getting so expensive. Like, I haven't checked what Evolving Skies packs are on at the moment, but I know they are expensive. But hey, listen, man. This can have some crazy cards inside. Here we go. There's the character. One, two, three, four. Have we got something in our Evolving Skies packs? Let's see what we're working with. Here we go. Lombre. Oh. All right. Here we go. There it is. And a Talon Flame and a Tentacruel Reverse Hollow. Nothing there. Here we go. Second last Evolving Skies pack. Alright, these are the ones you want, man. This one, it could hold some serious value. That's the thing about Evolving Skies. It's kind of weird. One, two. Though I have to admit, Charizard UPC pulls from what I've seen have been pretty brutal. And this is nothing short of that. Let's see what we're working with. Eevee, Hopip, and Lilligan. Alrighty, guys. Here we go. Our lucky Umbreon pack. Can we hit some final pack magic? Here it is, guys. Here it is. There's the code card. One, two, three, four. Alrighty, final pack magic. And here we go. Alright, where's the reverse? There's the reverse. And three, two, one. Oh! No way, bro! Oh my word, you're kidding me! Oh wow! Oh my word! You are joking, dude! That is crazy! What? I cannot believe that! Wow! Wow! Espeon V! Holy, I did not expect that at all, and not as the final pack either! Damn! Crazy, dude. Crazy. That is... Well, that was actually worth opening the box, especially that I got that on camera. That, um... Man, what a card. What a gorgeous alternate art. And an amazing pull for our final one. I think that centering is absolutely sensational. That is looking gorgeous. Now, after ripping open the UPC, it does leave a few questions, with the main one being, how well will this set perform within the future? It's obviously an incredible set with the amazing Charizard promos, and the fact that Charizard is the mascot of the box is a pretty good win, right? The Charizard Ultra Premium Collection has all the positive signs points 
pointing towards it. And also it nearly has every single sword and shield set that's noteworthy within this UPC. I do have to admit, early sword and shield sets like base set and rebel clash were missing from this set. Though, were they really missed? Probably not. It's kind of funny because the early Scarlet and Violet sets were actually incredible like Paldera Evolved. And if you want to see an absolutely crazy Paldera Evolved box break, then I suggest you click this video on screen right here. When it comes to box breaks, this one had it all. I'm talking highs, I'm talking lows. This booster box surprised me to say the least. This is one you don't want to miss and you'll probably need to watch it to see what I mean. Click that video that's appearing on screen and we'll talk more about it there while we rip some packs.